Hello everyone, this video is all about to create uh, an automatic data entry forum uh, NMS Excel. Okay, uh, I have added just these four fields. Okay, uh, name, email, hiring date, and salary. You can add more fields um, related to your requirements. Okay, how many uh, fields you have, you can add them uh, by pressing this U button. We will be able the, to insert that inserted card. Okay, the data that we have inserted in, the, in these fields to the data sheet. Okay, here we will insert the data here down from our header now let's check it okay first of all i will insert a record i'm here down uh, gmail.com and hiring date 3322 and for example salary 3000 okay so now let's press the save button okay what happened after pressing the save button let's move to the data tab uh, sheet okay see we have this first record okay this is our first record let's insert one another one okay rape Um, I need to two twenty four. Sorry, total. Okay, let's press in save button. Let's move to the data tab. See, we have this second record here. So that is how it works. Okay, now we will create this uh, entry forum in MS Excel. So let us get started before starting. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So first of all, let's come here. Okay, I will just design that. Okay, for the design purpose, I will just merge first of all these three fields okay march in center and after that i will write here data entry form so after that let's increase the size of this like this okay increase size of this one and decrease size of this one and also increase size of this one like this okay it looks like this now here i will add in the first of all the name field down from that the uh, email down here we will write a hiring date and down lastly salary let's write here column okay here i will write column 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 okay let's bring this text to the center so after that uh, we will let's just bold and will be bold the text and also increase the size of that and also let's add uh, we will just select this row this row and this row and i will uh, decrease the size of these rows okay decrease it yeah it looks like this and also um, what we should do now let's select this and we will just add select this and here we will add something like outside border okay ticket we will add thick outside border so after adding the border what we should do now let's move it to the center and here also we will add let's insert a row here in right click insert after inserting a row we will add here bottom border okay just come here and here we will add thick bottom border okay come here thick bottom border we have added the border uh, now let's decrease the size of this row and also this row. yeah it looks like this now let's add um, the border to these four fields and also these okay to all of these fields i will add border so we will add all border okay so it looks like this and after adding that now let's remove the grades okay grid line come here to the view and uncheck grid lines after that it looks like this okay let's decrease the size of this column and also this one like this okay so finally we will create a button here okay so to create the button for creating the button we will move to the developer tab by default the developer tab is not enabled here you cannot see that so to enable the developer tab just uh, right click and ribbon after right click select customize the ribbon so after that check the developer tab and press ok so after coming to the developer tab we, here we will come here to the insert after coming to the insert we will select this first option which is button okay after checking the button now let's create the button okay let's come here here we will create a button like this okay All right now we don't have the macro okay so let's cancel it we don't have the macro now um let's right click on this and we will just uh, format okay press the format control 
after format control come here to the alt text we will change the alt text Hold a to save record okay save record and come here to the font and here we will change the color to blue and text 14 and bold and here we will just select this one okay can say 60 it's okay so it looks like uh, sorry the text has not been and we will just save part so after creating the button now let's come here to a new sheet okay here we will just create again the name email here i will write email then hiring date finally salary let's design it okay select the row the first one and come here to the home assign this border and this text and just increase the size of these for the email for the hiring date and for the salary let's increase the size control b and like this it will looks like this and also add the border so let's add whole border now just come here again to the sheet 3 here now whenever we insert a record let's insert the record for example first of all i will insert a record hey so i've come here gmail.com and down here we will just create hiring date 3 3 and 24 and just come here here we will write the salary thousand okay so this is salary with us select this one so also we will bold the text of these cells also okay after bolding so now what we will do okay to save the record there first of all we will enable micro okay just uh, come here to the sheet 3 select uh, these three cells these cells okay the first one the second one third one and fourth one first of all select this one control second one control third one control uh, but before this we will start macro okay come here to the developer tab and start record macro press this after now we will insert now uh, data entry 2 okay data entry 2 we will record this macro uh, the syntax okay yeah we will just remove the space data entry 2 press okay so after starting the uh, macro now we will select these four fields press the first one control second one don't leave the control okay select all these four fields after that press ctrl c after pressing ctrl c you will copy these four cells okay after copying them come here to the sheet 4 again and here what we will do select here to the right side in empty cells okay to the right side from this your uh, table okay to the right side then press ctrl down arrow key after pressing ctrl down then ctrl left arrow key ctrl left then ctrl up arrow key ctrl up arrow key after that here now we will enable this in the developer tab we will enable use the relative reference this option enable this and press down arrow key without control okay don't press control just down arrow key come here down after coming down remove it back and check that so what we will do now we will paste those videos so to paste that we will just come here to the home paste paste special and select value and transpose it press okay see we have inserted that record okay now come here back to share 3 and we will delete press the delete button to delete those values and select the first one now come here to the developer and stop recording so after stopping record now we will assign that micro to this button right click on the button and assign a macro after that data entry 2 we will assign this one and press ok so what we will do now let's insert a new record okay for example jamal and come here g at gmail.com and come here hiring date uh, first to 24 and salary 1400 okay so now let's press uh, right now we have just this one record okay in this okay let's come here press the save button now let's check it okay in the sheet 4 see we have the second record also that's how it works okay to create a data uh, automatic data entry a forum in ms excel i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching